First, I must address our first attempt at a stop-motion project in which our scale was much too big and Colin's phone's memory was much too small, basically stating that it chewed up and spit out his memory. Now presenting a project we can actually finish. In a hole in the ground, there lived a Tunisian. Not a nasty, dirty, wet hole filled with the ends of worms and an oozy smell, nor a dry, bare, sandy hole with nothing to sit down on or to eat. This was a troglodyte hole, and that means comfort. But more than comfort, troglodyte houses were, the, were an ingenious solution to the needs of the Tunisians of the 14th and 15th century. Well, it actually looked a lot more like this. But what other needs could this hole in the ground fulfill? Surprisingly, it helped combat the hot African sun. While above ground, the temperatures could soar high and low in a in matter of minutes. In these caves, the temperature was much more stable, so people didn't burn to death. In other words, while the people underground stayed cool and comfortable, the people above ground were fried alive. <coughs> but it had to protect them for more than one thing, right? Or why would they go underground? <coughs> so, first of all, it protected them from robbers. <coughs> Well, it had to protect them from more than robbers, right? Because a pack of people could take them. Was it an angry sun god bent on destroying them? No. Was it a ferocious beast coming from another civilization? No. I don't think so. It was something even worse. The Romans. But eventually, night had to fall, and when it did, the Tunisians would strike. Dun, 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 dun. Not only was it all that, but it was also very easy to hold your stuff. All from water to grain, and it was also extremely easy to customize it. If you want a new bedroom, just go and get a shovel and dig it. As you can see, the troglodyte houses met all of the Tunisians' need in the 14th and 15th centuries, and more. So now on to vocab. Our first word is outcast. Our second word is hiding. Our next word is geothermal.
now from box number four is the fourth word ancient <laughs> sorry for the time it took to release this project but thanks for watching <sighs> you, could, you can't say that it was, um, you can't say that it was easy to add or extra rooms and such, and you can like, like a doorway and then add it. from a pit to a house. So you have to have a pit first, and then move it into a house, and you can build a house. Oh, no, we can build this, this, this giant courtyard, and then they basically just erase it. Okay, all in a giant house. So you do that, um, but we're nice, when we're getting ready to say, like, um, everything's from water, you're going to need to add, like, a pool. Okay? Yeah, like that. Yeah, they were supposed to be scared, but it miscalculated. So don't judge us. Just, just, just. Is that it? Why don't you just erase the whole thing? So you don't need to make it perfectly correct, and this thing, because we're basically, we're basically,